six months. Give me my money back. Thank you very much. Imagine, imagine, right? Dry shampoo, you're nasty. Dry shampoo wear, you're disgusting. What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I am going to be talking about some of these very nasty locticians out there that's advising my subscribers or viewers because you know not everybody who watch my channel is subscribed and if you are one of them who watch my channel and you're not subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because I do come out with a lot of good content for you guys especially if you are on a lock journey now back to what I was saying right now there are some really nasty okay nasty locticians out there that's advising my viewers slash subscribers not to wash their locks or their starter locks might I add for a whole six months you're nasty now I had um, I believe this person is a subscriber and they left me a comment and I swear to God Wait, let me see if I can find the, the dialogue between me and this person and I'll try to put it on the screen if I can. But um, if not, I'll just read it from here. Um, let me just find it, give me a minute. So this was a conversation between me and this subscriber here. Um, let me, I think they left a comment on my video about when to, to um, wash start a locks for the first time because like I says, there are some questions that I get so often on my channel that I feel the need to do a video on it um, just so that people could see, um, you know, my answer to that particular question that they may have. So this person left a comment, I believe it was on that very same video and they said, told me, to wait six months, no lie. I was like, excuse me? Oh, I didn't write that, but in my mind, I was like, six months where? So I respond, I was like, ah, I don't believe you. You are lying. Are you serious right now? That's disgusting. Shake my head. I cannot even believe someone who is a loctician, someone who is taking people's money is out there telling people not to wash their hair for six months. You are nasty. Anybody out there who's telling anybody to go six months without washing your hair, you're nasty. You're disgusting. But anyway, this is what he continued to say, he goes, yes, I got mine did about four days ago and she told me I couldn't wash it for six months, but she said I could use some kind of dry wash spray, moisture cleanse, I believe it's called. And this is my response. Uh, um, let me just read it before I go in. Okay, so I was like, no, 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 no. I goes, dry shampoos don't really clean the scalp. That's equivalent to someone telling you to use baby wipes to clean your body for six months. That's nasty. Imagine, 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 right? Imagine cleaning your body with baby wipes for six months. Are you going to feel clean? So all of this dry shampoo, dry shampoo. No, dry shampoo ain't doing nothing. What is a dry shampoo? Shampoo is to clean your hair. It's supposed to wash away any dirt, any buildup, any nastiness, any bacteria, anything like that that is possibly on your scalp and also in your hair. What the heck is a dry shampoo gonna do in my hair strands? Nothing. That's like I says, imagine cleaning your body with baby wipes for six months. Armpit, private areas, six months. Because what, well, all right, the scalp is the most important, so worry about the scalp for six months, but what about the rest of like the hair strands? Just like if I was to use baby wipes just on my important parts, what about my arms, my legs that might get sweaty, that might get dirty? 
Don't I need to wash that as well? So you talking about dry shampoo? Dry shampoo where? Anywho, I'll go, listen, you can wash your hair, hair when you feel your hair and scalp is ready to be clean. Don't let these people fool you, okay? Because let me tell you something. Now, a lot of you may not know this, but is my hair messed up? Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the viewfinder and it looked like it was all over the place. Now, a lot of you guys may not know this, but I am actually a qualified hairstylist. I actually went to college in my younger days <laughs> and studied hair because when I was a little girl, hair was something I wanted to do. Like my hairstyle was always on fleek when I was a little girl, okay? When I was younger in high school, you know, you think you're fly and all of that, so your hairstyle have to be fly too. I was that girl and I used to do people's hair as well. I used to get paid. That was my little side hustle in high school when I was growing up in Jamaica, okay? And when I came to the UK and I, my dad saw that I was really passionate about hair, he was like, okay, if you want to have your own salon and all of these different things, you're going to have to go to college and get the right qualification, etc. So I went to college and I studied hair. Now, a part of um, what we were taught, because I did up to... Um, level three i don't know what equivalent that is but beyond that i could have done my salon management by that point i i kind of changed what i wanted to do but anyway what they teach you is like it's part of level two like the beginning stages right you have level one which is entry level then you go to level two but i started at level two but even at level two they teach you to do a consultation with your clients like before we did anything to anybody's hair we have to know about that particular client's scalp and hair um you know hair strands as well right because you can't just jump in and be like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and you don't even understand what's going on with this person so for you locticians out there because i know it's not cheap going to locticians and having them you know start your locks and all of these things it's not cheap now if you guys aren't going to these people paying them and they aren't even sitting down with you and doing a consultation with you they're supposed to ask certain questions like what is your um you know like how often do you wash your hair and the reason why they're going to ask you that type of question is to determine whether you have an oily scalp or dry scalp that is part of it that is not the whole reason why they ask you that but that is one of the reasons why they would ask you how often do you wash your hair because you have some people who wash their hair very often because it's like oh my, my scalp is quite oily it gets quite gunky so i need to keep it clean or some people like me at one point when i used to have dry <laughs> dry hair I used to wash my hair often thinking that that was going to help so when they ask you that question if you say I wash my hair often then they'll ask you why do you do that right so you need to determine what's going on in this person's scalp so whether they have dry scalp oily scalp or even if they have a scalp condition because I also had somebody else that left a comment that said you know along the lines that they actually have um, you know a scalp um, condition and their um, loctician had told them to wait some long periods of time as well and they were like i cannot go that long without washing my hair so that's why they left a comment asking me what should i do and i'm just like girl you should wash your hair when you need to wash your hair because obviously i don't i am not standing there or in their presence to really understand what's going on going on on their scalp to really say wash it this particular amount of times etc and also i am not a doctor but if someone's telling you to go six months or even three months without washing your hair that is disgusting okay that is disgusting and i am ashamed of you locticians out there taking people's money big big money at that and then telling them not to wash their hair did you even go to school and get your qualification because i know people who do sister locks they have to why is my hair sticking up sorry <laughs> as i was saying people who do sister locks they have to um not have to but i know they go through like a um a training right there are certain things that they have to do so it's not just about oh just 
doing whatever you do to the hair to get sister locks because technically almost anybody can do it i'm not saying they you know anybody can but reason why i'm saying that is because like for example no i didn't go to school to learn how to do hair i observed people around me my mother may i say when she was doing like my sister's here my auntie's here her friends here and that's how i learned how to do hair so that's why when i say that that's what i mean like not everybody have to go to get that qualification because you can learn other ways anyway so i know these people go and get training so they um it's more than just doing the hair they have to understand okay for example i have low hair density so I know for me, I would probably want sister locks because of the type of look that I want anyway. So with having low density hair and also fine hair, someone who's doing sister locks, they may ask me these questions or even just observe my hair and realize, okay, this is how many um, sister locks you actually need to give that look that you want. You need to go through that consultation to meet their expectation, okay? So you can't just be, oh, I'm a loctician just because you know how to do locks. You know, like I says, I know how to do hair, but I then went to college to get the qualification to then say, I am qualified to do it. So don't just go out there and just be handing your money to all of these people out there who claim that they're a lactician, but then gonna turn on and tell you, don't wash your hair for six whole months. You're nasty. And use dry shampoo. You're disgusting. You know what? If they ever tell you that, ask them, you know what? You go over there and you use baby wipes for X amount of time. You're telling me to go without washing my hair and tell me how you like that. Now, I know washing your hair every day is not something you want to do anyway because you're obviously different parts of your body um, works a bit differently. More so, I'm talking about your scalp and your body, okay? Um, <laughs> your scalp, right? So, you don't want to um, be washing your hair every single day because you don't want to strip away um, the, the um, sebaceous oils, your sebum, from your scalp because that helps to keep your scalp moisturized and to nourish your scalp as well as your hair strands, okay? So you don't want to wash your hair every single day, all right? But, you know, if you want to wash it once a week, which is not bad, or once every two weeks, which is also not bad, but then when someone telling you three months, six months, you need to tell them, give me my money back, thank you very much, and go get your qualification before you go put your hand in anybody else's hair and then tell them, wait six months before you wash your hair and then use dry shampoo. Are you mad? Anyway, that's my little rant over, but I was like, I had to come and do this video because it wasn't only this person that, um, you know, left that comment saying that the loctician is out there telling them to wait this amount of crazy time before washing the hair. And like I said, someone else had made um, reference that they actually um, had some form of, you know, scalp condition and they couldn't go that long without washing their hair. So locticians need to be asking questions and not only asking questions, but looking at their um, client's hair and then determining what they need to do, right? So, so yeah. And also guys, I do have videos on my channel where I go a little bit more in depth about, you know, when to wash your hair, especially if you um, are on a starter lock journey. Well, not on a starter lock journey, but you have started your lock journey. So go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for that video or those videos, should I say. And um, let me know what you guys think. Definitely let me know um, what you think about these locticians out there telling people to wait six months, even three months without washing their hair. Have you ever experienced anything like that? If you have, let me know in the comments below because I really want to know like how many of you guys are out there experiencing this because I, like I said, I've had a few people leaving comments saying that their locticians are advising them of this and locticians, any locticians out there watching this video, if you believe your clients need to wait six months or even three months or any other amount of time, You need to go and get a proper qualification in what you claim you are doing because that is not right. 
that is not right okay Okay guys, so that's it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it made you laugh <laughs> or I hope it had you reflecting on your experiences and um, that will help you make better choices <laughs> because these lacticians are crazy. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, then please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And until next time guys, I just wanna say Happy New Year and I hope 2021 brings you so much more joy, prosperity, love and everything in abundance.